Okay, welcome to laboratory assignment nine. Uh, we're going to do SPSS application one together, and then you can do the second one on your own. Um, or you could just watch the video and then not participate in um, doing the SPSS tutorial along with me or submitting your output or entering the assignment. Um, so this lab is optional. However, you will need to know how to do what we're going to be doing in this lab on your SPSS final exam. So we're going to be learning paired T that is on the final exam. You'll need to know how to do that. Um, but if you want to just watch the video and then be done with this lab, you can do that. If you choose to submit your output and enter your answers into Canvas in the assignment, then you will be eligible for extra credit. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. SPSS application number one reads, a psychologist is interested in whether a standard anxiety reduction program, ARP, will be effective for altering test anxiety. The psychologist recruited 10 students to participate in a six-week program designed to alter anxiety. The psychologist measured the student's anxiety before and after the program. The student's scores on the two administrations of the anxiety inventory are presented on the table below. So here is our data and we have our 10 students here and then their um, scores on an anxiety inventory here in the before program and then again on the anxiety inventory after they've attended the anxiety program. Um, so the first question says, describe the experimental design by answering the following. So what is the independent variable? What is the thing that's being manipulated by the researcher? And in this case, that is going to be the anxiety reduction program. So the researchers are administering it. They're manipulating the, the participant's environment by adding this anxiety program to it. And then the dependent variable is going to be that test anxiety uh, and all of these scores are a measurement of that test anxiety. And then identify the level of measurement. Well, scores uh, represent numbers or interval data, interval. And then to state the null hypothesis, uh, we're just going to say that we are not expecting to see a significant difference in test anxiety before and after the anxiety reduction program. So I'm going to add test anxiety. It's important that we're real specific in our hypotheses and we use the full uh, language that is in the experimental design. Got to be precise. Okay, so there will not be a significant difference in test anxiety in these scores before and after the anxiety reduction program. And of course, we hope to reject that HO. Uh, which means that the anxiety program did work. Okay, so we're going to use SPSS to determine if the researcher can support the hypothesis. And so in order to do that, we're going to need to come over here to SPSS, click on the variable view, and then uh, in the very first cell, you're going to write before. And then in the next row, first cell, oops, you're going to write after. Okay. Uh, you could do the labels here in the in the worksheet these are labeled as arp pre and arp post so we could do it as that if we want but we don't have to you could just write pre and post you could just write before and after um, or really you could leave the labels blank if you want it's just nice to have everything labeled up real clearly okay and back to the data view and then I'm going to go ahead and start entering in these scores exactly as they appear on my worksheet. So I'm going to do all 10 of the before anxiety program anxiety scores now. Okay, and now I'm going to do the after. All right. So now that I have the scores entered, what I'm going to do is go to Analyze, Compare Means, Paired Samples T-Test, and then in the Paired Variables box, I'm going to move before and after over, and then I'm just going to click OK. All right, and here is my output, so don't forget to label it.
Okay, so here we have our results. We have our mean um, anxiety test score before and after. Is this a significant difference in mean? We're going to look down here uh, to our paired samples test, and we find our t-value there of 2.692, which we're going to round to 2.70. Our degrees of freedom of 9 and our significance level or our p-value of 0.025, which will round to 0.03. So it looks like there is a significant difference at the P less than 0.05 level. So we're going to go ahead and report that on our worksheet. And so the way we're going to report that is by putting our T symbol, and then we're going to need those degrees of freedom. So we get the degrees of freedom from our output right here. Degrees of freedom are 9. And then the T value uh, we're going to round 2.692 to 2.70. And then our p-value is 0.025, which we are going to round to 0.03. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and state our conclusion. And it is going to be to reject HO because of this p-value or the significance level. Um, it is less than 0.05. Um, but not less than 0.01, so we're going to reject P less than 0.05. Is there a significant difference in test anxiety before and after the anxiety program? And the answer is yes. Whenever we reject HO, the answer to that question is yes. Okay, so go ahead and do the second one on your own. And that is it for the labs for this semester. Good job. You did it. Was it kind of fun, though, learning SPSS? kind of fun right well good job either way and now you have this skill this tool in your toolbox you could just run around in your life doing statistical tests on SPSS whenever you want now you know how to do it congrats